Hey there, I'm Jason. Today we're going to answer a question that I think is a great one from N-W-O-T-Y-Z-A-R-C. No idea what that says. Anyway, it says, hey Jason, I'm developing a game where I change from a hub into a battle scene. I have multiple fighting arenas, but the whole logic is always the same. I want to have some different lights and shadow settings. I use URP for the different arenas, maybe some day and night stuff, for example. Do I need to prefab all my logic related objects and make multiple scenes or is there some easy way to load the same scene with different lighting settings i would enable disable game objects according to the scene id and something can you make a quick video about it this would be highly appreciated so let's answer this and i already know my answer before i share it if you've got one drop it in the comments i want to see if it's the same or if you have a different opinion on this now if you're building a game that's got multiple levels but same shared gameplay throughout the whole thing what i would recommend instead of prefabbing all those things and trying to deal with swapping out lighting and objects is set up your different environment scenes and then set up a gameplay scene here i've got a little chart showing we've got a menu scene this is where you would come in so like this is your entry point and then once you start and select a level, what you would do is essentially load up this gameplay scene and then you would load up whichever one of the levels that the player has selected and is supposed to load into. And you just load them additively. So you use the load scene single mode here and then load scene additive for your levels. Now, this is a pretty common pattern and something that I do often in my own projects in coursework where we will see a level loaded up. You'll see I've got my user interface and then a track. And here my user interface has all of my gameplay logic, but this could be a logic class or anything else. Or here you see I've got a bootstrapper that actually contains all of my managers. And this is generally the way that I go about it have some sort of gameplay set up and then all of your levels separated out. But before you do that, I would recommend that you start by just putting it all into level one until you're ready to do the point where you're gonna switch over and start loading level two and level three and all that stuff. Don't worry about the separation. Do the separation right when you get to that point because at that point when you're starting to create that second level, that's when you're gonna know exactly what things need to be in this gameplay scene versus the level scene and what things need to be customized per scene. If you kind of pre-guess it and try to assume you know what's going to be right at the beginning, you'll often end up putting too many things into the gameplay scene or maybe sometimes not enough things and things end up duplicated. So I like to do it all in a level, then figure out how to split it out afterwards, make a gameplay scene or a scene that if it's not gameplay, maybe it's user interface or whatever the specific things are, but in your case, it would be gameplay and then have it load between these different levels. So the gameplay scene stays loaded and your levels change. Now, if you've got a different opinion on this, please drop a comment down below. I'm curious to see what everybody else thinks and where we might disagree. And if you've got a question, feel free to drop that down below too. I'll be keeping an eye out and answering as many of them as I can. And then finally, if you're interested in learning a bit more about multiplayer game development or just beginner game stuff, make sure you go to game.courses and check out the two courses. There's multiplayer mastery and a game programmer course for beginners to take you all the way up to building a local multiplayer platformer with zero experience. All right, that's it for today. Please hit subscribe. Um, thumbs up and all that stuff. And again, if you got a question, drop it down below.